At this point, I believe I can confidently say that Purity Vanilla is one of Minecraft's largest anarchy servers. If you don't already know, an anarchy server is a Minecraft server with no rules, but the twist about Purity is that, well, there are a couple rules. The purpose of these rules isn't to constrain the player's actions, no. In fact, the primary goal that Penguin, the operator of the server, had was to create the ultimate vanilla experience. It's anarchy, you can do whatever you want, everything that the players do is up to their hands, but you can't do anything that would break the hurt server, and you can't hack because that's not vanilla. Unsurprisingly, after nearly two and a half years of operation, a lot of really influential people have joined this server. And the purpose of this video is going to be ranking what I believe are the greatest players of all time using something called a goat pyramid. I hope you guys all enjoy this video. It took a really long time to compile all the names and really just to work through who I decided was going to be where, and I hope you all enjoy. Thank you. So starting off tier 7, we have Dicka Dicka. So if you don't know him, basically he's a member of the Grey, and he's just been doing a lot of influential things, and he's built like half the highways at this point. The amount of grinding he's done to help the greater community is incredibly impressive, and I think that deserves him a 7th place spot. For our second 7th tier, uh, we have Lollingcraft. So again, if you don't know him, he was a member of Invicta way back when. He hasn't been active in a long time, but when he was active, he was by far one of the best build builders to ever join Purity, and his insatiable quest for stone and cobble and dirt became a very large meme in the community for a really long time and I think his legacy may not be uh, as great as some of the other ones here but at his time he was definitely one of the most popular members of purity all right next we have Kyle smile Kyle smile was called the king of spawn for a really long time and for a completely valid reason he's one of the best pvpers to join and just his presence is entertaining and his control over spawn which he held for so long is definitely worthwhile and I would say deserving of a tier 7 placement so this choice will likely get some backlash but next we have Robert Donald so if you somehow are living under a rock with impurity and have never heard him talk or talk to him at all either on the discord in the server i don't know what happened to you but his notoriety or i guess maybe infamy within the community just for being a troll but also one of the funny ones is definitely something that should not go unnoticed and i think it's really probably the weakest argument for being on this list at all but i think at this point his impact is worth noting so here he is and again this one might be somewhat controversial but we have acts all so there's a good chance you probably don't know him as he was more popular and active in like 2019 period. Uh, but at his time, he was very well known for logging in almost every PvP fight that he was in. And it was just a massive community uh, meme and everyone knew about him at the time. And that's why I think for his time, he definitely deserves to be here, even though nowadays not nearly as many people have even heard of him. And here we have another person that a lot of you will likely not recognize just because he hasn't been on recently or in a while at all, really. But we have Aggie or Aggie. I don't really know how to pronounce it. But he's important because I probably wouldn't be making this video without his influence he was pretty much the first purity youtuber and i think for anyone who does youtube on purity would have to pay some sort of homage to him as he pretty much popularized the idea of even making videos about purity he's gone incredibly inactive at this point but i think it's definitely worth noticing that he started this trend which a lot of us are a part of now and rounding out tier 7 we have one of the most ironic feared people on purity rongo so if you don't know rongo he still comes on occasionally but he was just one of the most important and most notable farm builders on purity pretty much ever and his activity in empire and nso just made him a very popular person and his uh farming ability and his questionable talents i guess as we'll put it due to being associated with empire and nso have made him a little bit infamous within the community and so that's why i believe that he should be placed in tier 7 beginning tier 6 we have creep assassin or nowadays he's just called creep so creep was incredibly active in the like early to mid parts of 2020 he started pretty much the cube community with his server and he was just incredibly well known at the time for being part of adiesa and just his influence at the time and even now people still mention him and talk about him is undeniable and i think he has a great enough impact to be placed in tier six all right next we have splash or purity vanilla or however many of his alt names there are uh, basically he's just important because of the fact that he made a client for purity vanilla called splash client which is i think as far as i know still in development and his knowledge of the server from a technical standpoint is pretty much undisputed at this point by anyone except for some of the mods and admins. And he's definitely an indisputably important tool for any purity vanilla player. I think that's why he deserves to be here. All right next we have Cicada 404, 504, 304, or again, 
however many of his alt's names there are. So he's important because he started Eden, which is one of the most notable groups uh, pretty much ever at this point. And his importance on Spawn as killing pretty much every Grey that joined for a long time is also definitely more notable than a lot of other of the Spawn PvPers that we've ever had on Purity. And I think that's why he deserves to be a tier above uh, many of the other Spawn PvPers that we've mentioned. And here's a player that, again, a lot of you will probably not recognize. And I did have him higher above, but when I shifted everything to make it fit the count, I had to put him here pretty much. So we have Tip Top Bop. So if you don't know, he was the first player to ever crack the seed publicly, and that pretty much shattered the entire community because Penguin had to reset the seed, and it just caused a massive debacle and issue which shook the way the community looked at everything because if one person can crack the seed then they have a completely unfair advantage against anyone else and I think because of that his infamy is uh, deserved to be recognized here. And next we have a face which I'm sure if you many of you would recognize if you've ever seen him in skin. He's gotten less inactive recently but it's Roner. So Roner is incredibly important for being an important member of DB and his activity in Trading Hub and his just promotion of it and just how much he he's brought to the community both as a person and his importance in DB and in Trading Hub. So I think he belongs to be there. And finishing tier 6, we have Rico. Yeah, it's Rico or Rico X, whatever you want to call him. His influence over the server in later 2020 and mi earlier mid of uh, 2021 is without a doubt probably one of the most popular players of that time. His importance just in griefing as being part of NSO, founding larger groups, importance in 2019 with Confed and that entire conflict, if you want to call at that his importance is at this point almost legendary and when if he pops on everyone always knows him and it's just definitely deserving of tier six i'd say he's the perfect person to round it up so when i started this video i wasn't entirely sure if i was going to include mods or not or admins or anyone on the staff team just because it seems kind of biased to be including them at all i mean they're obviously going to be important just by having mod everyone's going to know them but it also occurred to me that the reason that any of them got positions on the staff team is because of their importance and their impact on the community. And that's why I believe first coming up here for the moderators, we have Jake62 or just Jake or Jakeathy. His importance is something that a lot of people will probably not remember at this point, but well, everyone who was there would remember, but no one now knows about really is the Jakealith and the whole idea of Jakeism, which was really dumb admittedly but it was also hilarious just how he pretty much swept most of the community into joining him in his completely pointless quote-unquote religion if you want to call it and i think that not only is it funny but i mean it's important and it eventually propelled him to getting moderator so i think he's definitely worthy of being in tier five and next we have another player which i wanted to place higher but i couldn't just because of restrictions with the number of people uh, Owo, or Gaming Partridge, or It Owo, he changes his name and his alts regularly. So Owo is important because of his activity in Paco, the road building groups, Paco 1 and Paco 2. He pretty much led both of them and was incredibly active and built a very large portion of the highways. And he's just important as a player with trading, and he's just a nice person to talk to, and he probably has the largest map art collection on Purity. Actually, I'm almost certain he does, and the most map arts made by any single person on Purity. His importance is indisputable. I think he definitely deserves to be probably in a higher tier, but this is the best I could give him with everyone else that's coming up, just because I think there are people even more important. And next, we have We Know and all of his various alts. He's important just because of his impact on the community and the primarily positive impact he's had and just the important things he's done. So like as an important member of DC and he created Black Market, which was pretty much the first major competitor to Trading Hub since Market, but that was actually before it. That and just his willingness to help new players and to just be a shining member of the community most of the time. Everyone has their size, but like nine times out of ten when he's there, he's there to help other people. And I think that's definitely important to the community as it invited a lot of people to the community. One of my first interactions with any players was when he dropped off a lot of shulker boxes at my first base uh, with Aqua Maroon. And I've really not really had any bad experiences with him. I think he's definitely important pretty much just for his kindness. So the second moderator that we're mentioning is Master's Chief or just Chief. He's important because of the various commands in game, which are because of him uh, being the CLS command, which links to his game. And his work on like the website and purity in general, he was a very important moderator at his time. He did get way more inactive eventually, 
But for his time, he was famous and well-known and just an entertaining person to be with. And his importance in his group, EC, is also definitely to be noted because at its time, EC, or Ebers Corps, was one of the most popular and powerful groups of the 2019 and 2020 period. So this next one will likely be the most controversial just because of his uh, interaction. And it's questionable as to whether or not we can call him a purity player, but we have Sal C1. So Sal is important because of the publicity he brought to the server for bad or good it killed q times and really the server hasn't recovered since then fully but also just because of the importance he also founded in other players like boone's quote there being featured in his video and also just the impact he made it really kind of when he made his video is when we noticed that purity wasn't just an underground anarchy server but without hacks it was a mainstream server with thousands of players and he pretty much shot us to the popularity that we enjoy today. So at this point, I'd say we're starting to cross the line from popular people to the most popular and the most influential people in the server at this point. So starting off tier four, we have Golden Cookie 420, or just Golden Cookie. So Golden Cookie is incredibly important just because he's been active for over two and a half years now. He joined, I think, a few weeks after the server started, and he's been relatively active since then, which is incredibly impressive. And he's been offered moderator, he was a member of Invicta, and he's just a very well-known member of the community. I think he's, at this point, a figure of the community as for still being a gray and representing grays, because even though he's contributed to the server with full join and he continued to vote for years, he never got any rank above gray because he specifically requested for it, and because of importance, they let him stay gray. I think that's just a great symbol of the diversity of players that you can have on Purity. If you were active pretty much at all in 2019 or 2020 Purity, you'll likely recognize this man. It's Freaks. He was one of the most feared members of the community pretty much ever for an extended period of time because of his groups, Empire and NSO, and the fact that he just like pulled the strings from many important events which are still even happening today. His uh, griefing, his toxicity, and just his impact on the community was incredibly important at the time, even leading up to 2021. Even after he was banned, he was important, and people still talk about him very frequently. And I think it's, without question, one of the most important players to ever join Purity. So a look into someone similar, but pretty much without any positive qualities, we have Warven, who was one of, if not at this point, the most popular and famous person to ever get banned on Purity Vanilla because of his number of bands. He was banned like three or four times permanently, but paid his way back on. And just how much his band shook the community when he finally did get permanently banned for auto-clicking and the chatbot. I don't care what you guys say, he definitely deserved his ban. Uh, but just the impact that had on the community was wild at the time. And it was one of the most active times of the community as everyone was debating whether or not his ban should have happened. And it just brought the entire community together and apart. And I think his importance is more than notable for the time. And even now, people mention him as an important van. And rounding out tier four, we have Jamul, or the Gray, or whatever you want to call him. His importance is, again, another one of indisputable note. Uh, his relevancy within the Gray is work with the Spawn Infrastructure Project, or SIP, and now he is a moderator. And since then, he's just been flourishing ever since he joined as one of the most helpful and kindest players on Purity. And even as a moderator, he's one of the most active in general support, answering people's tickets and just contributing to the community and giving back. It's really impressive what he's done to foster kindness within the community and to just help make the server better with his work on the highway. So starting out tier three, we have the trifecta of admins, starting with Rasmus B. So Rasmus is, without a doubt, one of the funniest and most influential players of all time, from starting Invicta, from his time as moderator to senior moderator to admin. He is definitely one of the most important, one of the most active at his time, and just someone everyone knew and everyone talked about from his voice calls to just talking and chat and all the images he sent and became famous for because of him sending them. His importance is indisputable and definitely, definitely deserving to be in tier three. It would seem that not much could shadow a character like Rasmus B in importance at the community, but if anyone really could within this tier, it would be Nuns. Nuns was an active player in 2019. She became moderator and then admin very quickly after joining. And at the time, she was by far the most popular non-average player of the time. And even now, 
on the rare occasion that she joins every couple months, everyone notices and anyone who is active at the time or has even heard of her is always just impressed when she's there because I know she left for personal reasons, but whenever she comes back, it's just a joy on the community because of her importance as an admin and her work with like the creative server, which I know she helped out a lot on. Definitely a very, very important person and especially as an admin. And rounding out tier three, the admin trifecta, we have Boone or XX Boone XX because he uses a Call of Duty name from like 2010. Boone is, I would say, probably the most important staff member ever. He's been active since early 2019. He's been a figurehead of the community since 2019. And when he got admin, it was just further proof of his importance and his trustworthiness. He's one of the kindest people. It's probably because he's Canadian, I guess. And it's just everything he's done has been to help Purity, even when he takes it away, even when he gets disgusted by it. He usually comes back just to help out and especially on the side servers like q which he helped like make command box for to help it run smoothly and then horde which he designed well using the hive and then did all of the redstone for on his own it was massively impressive and just his personality is alone something to be awarded but everything he's done to help purity is definitely a tier three maybe even tier three two but I do believe the people in Tier 2 could even eclipse uh, Boone's importance. And with that, we are finished with Tier 3. So in Tier 2, we are starting to enter the kings of the community. Truly the most notable people of all time, the self-proclaimed kings, kings in some points, and just people who have shocked and altered the community through their actions and their importance on the community and are remembered today, whether that be in fame or infamy. So starting this off, we have Doug One, a.k.a. the original leaker. Basically, uh, way back when, 2019, he... Uh, became an, a moderator and used his powers to travel to bases and take their coordinates and eventually he leaked all of them and was probably the first notable ban on purity as in like incredibly noticeable ban because his actions really altered penguin's perspective on moderator and became him made penguin become way more selective about who he chooses for moderator and really just the impact on not only just the bases grief but just the community went spiraling after he uh, leaked those bases it's undoubtedly something important and to be remembered to this day especially just when considering new moderators for Penguin. And second, we have definitely one of the most notable players of all time. I would call him the second, Raxter Ninja, or Two Hands Revy. Besides being literally the best PvP on Impurity and losing one battle in his almost two years here, uh, he has had the Dragon Egg for years, ever since it got taken away from Doog, uh, who took it from Fail, or Flare, whatever his name was. H having the Dragon Egg alone, especially for that amount of time, would propel anyone to a rank this high. But just the amount of time he's had it, his personality, his activity within the tier ranking for PvPers is without a doubt one of the most important players of all time and his legacy will be remembered to this day. It's at this point that I would list a couple honorable mentions for people who could be in tier 1. So with that out of the way, I present to you who I think is the most notable person to ever join Purity. If you've been around Spawn, you've probably seen his name. If you were ever in chat in 2020, you saw his name, you talked to him, griefu.exe. Now, this is a little bit controversial just because of the things he was famed for saying in chat were far from the kindest ever. But of his time and the speed with which he grew to notoriety, infamy, and fame is undisputed within Purity. He became famous incredibly quickly. He still has a legacy on Purity. He still comes on every now and then, by the way. You're not supposed to know that, but he does. And just everything that he did, none of it for the community, all for himself, all for other people occasionally. He was actually quite a nice person. Uh, if you talk to him singularly or just in VC, he was quite a kind person. Embodied the uh, spirit of an anarchy server and especially on Purity Vanilla. And his fame is without a doubt the most famous person to join Purity for his time. And even now he's incredibly well known. And I think it's definitely worth mentioning him even though he's pretty much gone at this point. But I think it's definitely worth saying that Griefu.exe is the most important person to ever join Purity Vanilla. So if you somehow made it this long without screaming at me yet and without yelling something in the comments about you not being picked or about my picks being dumb, I'd like you to remember that this is an opinion Everything about this is my opinion. I mean, and honestly, because of that, I would encourage a response video or a response constructive comment or message on Discord. I don't want anyone to just scream about this because it's unnecessary. And that's happened with every other tier list I've made. Think about it first before you say something and please just consider it is still my opinion. And even I would admit some of the rankings here can probably be changed a little bit, but I would say that these are probably the most important people in purity. And I would still hold by the fact that Griefy.exe was the most notable Pearson and the king of 
purity at his time. So thank you for watching and sticking around this long and be sure to subscribe and like because this actually took me a lot longer than it should have and the anticipation's been building up for a while for everyone. So I hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.